morning. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly add a conference to your Schoology platform so that you can um, interact with the children live. You can use this within your classroom as a PLC, various ways. So it's very easy. Over here is a conference um, tab. You're going to select this. If you do not have this, you can find it by going up here and scrolling down and just click install. Okay, so I'm going to select conference. And I'm going to say create a new conference. And I'm going to call this my demo conference, demo, demo one. And I'm going to start my conference today. However, if you were a teacher, you would want to give them a little bit of an alert. You wouldn't want to start it right now. You would maybe say, you know, at least schedule it a day or two ahead of time so kids can be prepared for it. Not only the kids, but the parents, especially for the younger kids. The young, I mean, the, the classes are loaded, even for kindergarten. So we've got this conference started, okay? Now, in order for the kids to access this conference, two things have to be done. First, we have to add it to the updates, and then when we're ready to start the conference a little bit beforehand, you're gonna click Start Conference. Let's add it to the updates first. And make, another thing, make sure you add the correct time to your update. Now, I'm gonna go over here to add an event, and I'm going to add it for today. Let me go back again to make sure I'm getting the right time. It happens because you don't want kids to get in on the wrong time. If, you, if you're not sure, you need to go back 11 to 11.30. Okay, so I'm going to go to updates. I'm going to go over here, add an event. I'm going to add it today because it's just a practice one. Okay, and then I'm going to add an end time because we need to have an end time. They need to know what time their class is over. Especially if they have a lot of classes, we need to make sure that we're all working together on this. And there's a way to um, connect this conference to multiple courses. Um, and it's going to remember demo one and here you might just describe how to they how do they get to the conference they're going to go um click on the conference tab please and i have my name select on. tab the left side of your my computer's a little slow because of our internet. Okay. Screen. And then they're going to, once they select that, they'll see a link. Boo. Unless I have them RSVP, link. and then they have to select that first. And I, I would do that if I scheduled it a couple of days ahead of time, okay? and you don't want just anybody in your conference. So comments, let's enable the comments, and this is where you can copy it to courses. If you have multiple courses that you would like to participate within this conference, you would just select and then save changes. I wouldn't do one more than one, maybe two classes at a time the first time, because there's a place where they can collaborate on a, um, a whiteboard, and we don't want so many comments at a time over that board. So then when I go back to conferences, um, I'm going to start the conference. The kids can't join the conference until I start the conference. So then this is what I see. And they will also walk through the same. And you are currently the only person in this conference. Okay, and that's what I want to happen. Over here, if one, I want to show you, if you want to send a public chat, you'll select that, it'll come here. If you have a list of students and you want to send a private chat, then you'll select their name and it'll be a private chat. Here are notes, 
This is where you can take notes throughout your lesson, and then you can export them, import them, whatever you want to do to share them with the kids. Um, you also have the option of breakout rooms and closed captioning and muting kids. So then you assign people to your breakout room. You decide how many minutes. So you can have as many as eight breakout rooms. Um, and then you can create the breakout room. You can go in and actually listen to the kids to make sure they're staying on topic. You can listen or you can participate. Um, you are currently the only person in this conference. Now, once the kids join the conference, you want to record the conference. Okay, but right now I'm in the room and I set it for five minutes. In five minutes, it will close and it's telling me there are four minutes and 27, six, five seconds left in this breakout room. When that's over, it closes. Then we go back to the big room. Okay, this is where you can chat, you can use your webcam so that they can see you, have visual meetings, um, and you'll. This, whenever you have your kids in your classroom, you'll see where this will come in handy. Um, communicate with the audio, add some emojis, share your screen. When you share your screen, then whatever's on your screen is going to show up on their screen. Okay, and then um, right here is where you would add a presentation. You can upload a presentation such as a PowerPoint and you can annotate over it, you can teach, you can upload a document, a lesson, and teach just like as if you were standing in front of your classroom or within your classroom. Um, kids can answer, you can uh, ask questions and have a, uh, have a discussion. Now what I like about this too is there is a um, whiteboard. You can turn it on and off, okay? You can share it with the kids. So we're going to go to a slide here. And maybe I just want them to tell me um, something they've learned out this week that they probably wouldn't have learned in school. You know, some life skills, cooking skills, sewing skills. Um, I get my box and then I'm just going to, I could type my prompt here. I could actually just say something that I've learned. You know, just that's just a practice one, and my name will show up there. But then as the kids respond with their responses, their name will show up with their response, okay? And this is, um, you can, there's multiple pages, so you can do different pages for different discussions. And like I said, it saves for seven days. When you're ready to start your lesson, you want to click on Start Recording. Okay, this is important that you start recording and you don't forget to do that because this lesson will save for seven days so the kids that for some reason could not access this lesson can access it. Now remember Schoology is an app on, a, on the phone. They can go to the Play Store, the, and, um, the iPhone Store, and they can download the app. It does, you know, it's not as easy for them to do that with a phone, but they, it can be done. Um, and then here, of course, is where you can join the audio with your microphone. We've already done this, so we know that it works. Here is where you can share a webcam. And the visual lesson, the visual presentation is where you'll see your kids. Oh, webcam turned off. And those of you that have some kids now probably fifth or maybe third fourth fifth grade and you see them with post-it notes over their camera i'm the reason for that you're going to click start sharing um and then you can turn off your webcam and this is just where you can share your screen okay with the kids this that this is the basic part of how to create a conference <clears throat> just remember it can be used with your kids in a classroom it can be used 
with administrators. It can be used in PLCs with teachers. It's a very handy tool and it's all right here in Schoology. Any, if you have any questions, please email me, M.A. Young, or you can email Holly, Holly Kane. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.